this is Amy Story and Brooke Waller at Bright Agritech, and today we are wrapping up one of our trials on microgreens. So these trials, we've been testing sunflower, cabbage, and cress, and we've been growing them at different densities. The sunflower seeds, they're a larger seed, so we range the seed density between one ounce and two ounces. And then for the cabbage and cress, those are really small seeds, so we range the densities there between 0 0.5, 0 0.9, and 1.3 ounces per 10 by 20 inch tray. So before we jump into our methods and our setup of this experiment, let me just tell you a little bit about the system that we grew the microgreens in. We're starting our microgreens in a propagation chamber, and then as soon as they germinate, we're moving them over to flood trays, where they're irrigated twice a day. So Brooke, will you tell us a little bit about how long you ran the trial for and how you broke it up? Yeah, so overall this trial took about 25 days, and how I ran it was that I grew the seeds in cycles from seven days, 10 days to 12 days. And I did this because on the seed packages, they have a range of days that these seeds can grow by. And I wanted to really fine tune to figure out what days are actually the best for each seed type. Great, so we kind of want to narrow in our recommendation for farmers from that really broad range. Exactly. Okay. So as you were recording your data, what metrics were you looking at? So what I was looking at really was uh, how fast they grew and at the end of the growth cycle I wanted to see what yield did the seeds actually produce. Right. So what were the numbers? So for sunflower, uh, at one ounce seed density I came out with about 8.2 ounces of harvest per tray and then at two ounce seed density I came out with about 12.9 ounces of harvest. Now those numbers are misleading because the 12.9 uh, ounce harvest actually was a lower percent increase from seed to harvest than the one ounce uh, seed density. Okay, so if farmers are growing for efficiency, they want to look at a ratio of input to output, not just the output. Exactly. Yeah, because with the two ounce seed density, you're buying more seed to get less of an increase, whereas if you bought the one ounce seed and just planted that, you'd have a greater output. So you'd have a greater net revenue. Great. So for the other microgreens that we were testing, the crest we found 0.5 ounces at 10 days growth gave the best harvest. And at 1.3 ounces grown for 10 days gave the greatest harvest. Now for cabbage, 0.5 ounces grown at about 12 days gave the best harvest, and 1.3 ounces grown at 12 days gave the greatest harvest. Now something interesting that I found from these trials, uh, with the sunflower in particular, the sunflowers don't germinate on an even level like the cabbage and the cress and other microgreens that I've tried. And so it makes it really hard for harvesting in particular because um, the plants, some of them will still be just coming out of their seeds. Some of them will be completely mature and ready to harvest. And also when they grow, they tend to twist and fall on each other. And so when you harvest them, you have to really pick up the plant and really focus on where you're cutting because otherwise you lose a lot of that plant. So we found some interesting things in this trial. In a few weeks here, we're gonna start another one on beets, basil, and cilantro. We've been using these microgreens a variety of ways. We put them on sushi, put them in Italian mozzarella dips, and they've been really good. But we're kind of interested to see what else you guys have been trying. So if you have any recipes or ideas about dishes, we'd love to hear them in the comments below. 